Hundreds gathered on the southwest side of Grand Rapids tonight to remember Joey Vitale. A candlelight vigil took place in his honor. Vitale died from those stabbing injuries after again trying to drive himself to the hospital. His family is well known across West Michigan for several restaurants. 24 Hour News 8's Marvis Herring was there for tonight's vigil where many shared emotional memories. Marvis. Brian and Marley, good evening. Despite the short notice, this entire parking lot was packed with plenty of people tonight, less than 24 hours after Joey Vitale was killed inside of this pizza shop in the emotional vigil, painted a clear picture of Joey Vitale's infectious personality. Our hearts are heavy. We'll never forget Joey Vitale. Small flames danced in the palms of a grieving crowd. Joey did not deserve this. The parking lot of Burton Heights Pizza packed with people heartbroken by Joey Vitale's death. All day today I've thought about the fact that I was with him right before and it's gonna haunt me. Nearly everyone brought up Vitale's fervent love for his two daughters and wife, but his compassionate spirit was not limited to his family. Kyle Kelly's known Vitale since Kelly was 13. His personality, it was contagious. And I don't remember a time where I could ever think of him as selfish, even though he's come from a, a background that's, that's really prominent. Many in tonight's crowd at Burton Heights Pizza recalled recent memories with Joey Vitale. Others remember when the pizza shop was here across the street in this small building, and they recalled the compassion that Vitale and his family showed them years ago. We actually grew up right here on Burton Street, right across the street here, when his dad owned the, the building right next door to our house. Mika Liptrot calls Joey a cousin. It was more than just pizza. It was way more than, it was family, it was love. The Vitale family making an unforgettable impact on her life at a young age. Their family is very important to us because like there was times where we, our mother and our father couldn't afford to feed us and Frank would actually Give us free pizza. Liptrot says everyone was family when they stepped through these doors. Joey personalized every order. Fly high, Joey. He give us, he take us. May his memory be eternal. Witnesses say that Joey Vitale was trying to break up an escalating situation when he was stabbed last night here. Many people that I spoke with tonight say they're not surprised that he was trying to help and calm things down. And you can see that there are still some candles here at the front door burning in his honor. Back to you. Marvis Herring, thank you.